It's finally happened. A randomizer for Deedlit Wonder Labyrinth Record of Lodos War. The game with a very long name, but is very good and heavily inspired by Symphony of the Night. It's a great one. This randomizer should randomize the abilities, the sprites, the background, the enemies, the items, and all that fun stuff. Look at that. The game does not normally look like... You saw what the game was supposed to look like for a second, and then it faded into this new color scheme. It looks pretty good, though. But yeah. This game is fun. Look, it is uh, uh, legally distinct Alucard. Definitely not Alucard. Okay, this harpy is definitely not supposed to be here. Ow. It says it's a goblin in the bottom right. The music's also randomized. This is like a later stage song. This is a very good game. Ow, dude, I'm getting owned. Hold up. I need like a better weapon. Thankfully, I got a better weapon. Uh, oh God, it's been a while since I've used these menus. This should sound like Mega Man. All right, we got the hover ability. I think that's guaranteed to prevent soft locks. Probably. This game's great. We did a playthrough of it, I think like a, a year or two ago, and I had a lot of fun with it. And I've been meaning to find a reason to play through it again. I don't know what's going on story-wise. We don't need to worry about the story. In fact, to me, the story was basically incomprehensible and I still had a great time. Uh, a lot of the videos that I have unlisted are just in playlists on my stream, or sorry, on my uh, YouTube channel. Not everything is visible because not everything fits uh, for that channel. Or not everything. Everything is unlisted, but in a playlist somewhere, probably. And if it's not in a playlist yet, it might be in the future. I just don't have the time to upload or update all the playlists. Yeah, the items... Or, sorry, the enemies have been fully randomized, so... The enemies that we find in each area are randomized. Like, these are supposed to be goblins, apparently. But they've been replaced with harpies. It is cool that you basically get to fly up to a certain point throughout the game. It makes movement and traversing and fighting like aerial uh, enemies a little bit easier because you get to fly along with them. But it's not like free flight where you just like trivialize the need for gaining extra height or anything like that. It's actually a really good movement system. Because like I can't just fly straight up from here. It just doesn't work. Uh, oh, I need the fire ability to break open those uh, crates, so I have to come back later. Yeah, the randomizer for this came out, I think, like, less than a month ago, so it's brand new. Oh, there it is. There's our fire ability. So now we can blow up stuff and do fire damage. Spirit Magic Will-O-Wisp. Press X to perform magic attacks. So we got Will-O-Wisp. Gotcha. Will-O-Wisp, go! That one's pretty good if I remember correctly. It looks pretty good. Yeah, this game also revolves around like a wind and fire system. So you have these two different modes. You're either in wind mode or fire mode. Fire mode, you do fire damage. And you can't, like, fly around. Uh, every enemy also has different elemental weaknesses and strengths. So sometimes you need to switch uh, to a different element to help fight a certain enemy.
Uh, I guess we go this way. Does it have like an inverted castle? I genuinely don't remember. I'm gonna say probably not. Yeah, like see how we can fly? We can't actually make it up here though because you can only fly so high off the ground. So there's still more like progression that we need. And it looks like that's a locked door as well. It's not just an enemy randomizer. Enemy randomizer, item randomizer, music randomizer, uh, color randomizer. As well as ability randomizer. So it randomizes a lot of stuff. So we can level up our stuff here. This game kind of has a similar system to... Um, what's the game called? Okay, we got the bow. Nice. Cave Story. Thank you. It's a similar system to Cave Story where you you level up, but if you take damage, you lose levels. Like, yeah, I just leveled down because I took damage. And you gain more levels by doing damage to enemies. And then you could also use your max level to help refill your HP. So if you're in a specific form while at max level, you uh, refill M uh, HP. Uh, there's also arrow puzzles. Oh my god, I'm really good at this game. Oops. There we go. Arrow puzzles. It's fun. We go up here. Oh, that's an enemy. Yeah, I guess floating doors. Forgot about the floating doors, huh? Another thing to note is these things. Uh, attacks will be coded either out red or like blue. Ow, how did I get hit there? It's weird. I need to be in a specific form to avoid damage from it. And I do not have that key. And I cannot go this way, because I can't slide yet. All right. Metroid. Vania. Yeah, see, these are the different colored attacks. Spirit Magic Undyne releases Spirit of Water. Hold X to switch which type of magic. Okay. It's been a while. We'll do the Undyne, sure. More story that I don't remember nor care about. Let's go. Love that we can skip the cutscenes. Oh, I forgot about this guy already. Take this. Uh, we're pretty low on health. Uh... There we go. We get an upgraded bow. Homing bow? Do I have to equip it? Yes, I do. Oops. Nice. Wait, can I just use the bow from here? That's nice. Okay. What's the name of this game? This is Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth. Uh, are we stuck? Or is, this is just a shortcut back. Oh, it's open for us. Okay. I'm gonna probably use the bow for a little while to make sure I don't die.
Oh, this is a warp. Okay. I mean, the save room's right here. Let's do that. Hitting the door near Undyned, open the doors with the matching symbol. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. Ow. Uh, so where do we go now? I guess there is an open spot... Down here, yeah, because we if assuming all the blue doors are open, then we want to go this way. Because there was a blue door down here. This music goes so insanely hard for no reason. Who it is? Is this the shop? Or something? I don't remember. Must be. I'm assuming the shop may or may not be randomized. Atomic? Historic atomic refined store. Dragon Buster. For 900 We don't have that much money. But Dragon Buster sounds fucking sick. We can get the Cobalt Sword. That would increase our damage a decent amount. Oh, we can't. We don't have money. Increase all spirit levels to three. Yeah, we don't have a lot of money. Can I sell stuff? I guess I can sell the rape here because I'm not going to use it anymore. And the old bow. I don't really need that. Alrighty. Uh, so we have the shop unlocked. Let's go save, and then let's go explore some more. Oh, God. There's the warp room. Nice. Is that a fake door or a real door? Also, that's not a lizard man. What are you? Dragon Tooth Warrior. like a little skelly guy. That's a fake door. Okay. Another bow. Does it want me to do this? That's almost correct. Oh, that's, that's actually really close as well. Oh, maybe I stand here. Yeah. Magician. It's a overall worse bow. You can fire five arrows at once, though. Does that matter? Each one hits individually? That's actually kind of crazy. I don't remember any of these items. It's been such a long time since I played the game, I barely remember anything. That's pretty good. What up, FFT? Oh, it uses magic. I'm like, why can't I shoot my bow? Because it costs magic to shoot the arrows. That makes sense. Okay, ow. Uh, see you later. <laughs> All right, I'm not going down there. 
What are my five favorite games of all time? Zebra. It's a better weapon. Slower. Not even that much slower, but better damage. I'll take it. Um, it's hard to pick a top five. Genuinely. I think Soden has to be my number one favorite. Surely just due to the number of hours I've put into the game and how much I've invested in like speedrunning the game and getting better at it and stuff. But I have a ton of other like games that I really appreciate that I don't really talk about much on stream really ever. Like I have to like do this. Yeah, to avoid the spikes. Yeah, this game has a very, very good style to it. The sprite work is amazing. So much of what this game does visually is just very, very good. It also even, it's such a good visual style that randomized color palettes, uh, like this is using randomized color palettes and the game still looks good, you know? Just the actual design is pretty striking. What just hit me? What the heck? Top five Metroidvanias? Probably Symphony of the Night, Super Metroid, Hollow Knight. And then after that is where things get a little bit tricky. Oh, that also makes the, the puzzles a lot easier when you can just have five arrows come out at, at once. That's pretty good. The UI is a little busy. I can understand that, yeah. Yeah, the UI is definitely not, like, its strongest point. I'll give you that. Are we up to our first boss? Are the bosses randomized? I don't know if they are. We're going to find out. Probably not, right? Yeah, the bosses are not randomized. Have you experienced for yourself that death is meaningless? Now. This guy is strong versus water. I should not use my water attack versus him then. Ow. Okay. These boss fights are so cool. Hell yeah. Nice. First try. Hell yeah. What's this? Soul Crystal Ball. What it's used for is unknown. Dope. Hell yeah. This game also uses a uh, like a stage system, if I remember correctly. So like the areas are kind of like divided into stages. Like it's still an open like structure, like a Metroidvania. It's just that areas are a little more closed off and distinct. Damn, the purple looks crazy in this room. Uh, I don't know what the snake thing does. Is it an ability of some kind? Sliding! Oh, we can slide now. Dude, the slide in this game is so good, too. And if you're in the fire mode, you do this, like, slide tackle. 
And you can combo uh, slides into... Uh -oh. You can combo slides into back dashes. These guys do a lot of damage. Another bow. Wait, so how am I supposed to do this? I guess that works. Attack power 40. Holy bow that kills enemies without inflicting pain? What does that mean? Wait, what? Kill enemies without inflicting pain? Maybe they don't flinch or something? So we need to be able to open yellow doors if we want to continue. So I think we have to go back this way. There was this room that we couldn't do because we couldn't slide. So we should go that way. Heal them to death. But I want to inflict pain. That's what I'm saying. I feel like we've gotten quite powerful quite quickly. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, right here. We're supposed to be able to slide through. So hopefully this is our progression. Hit gears with arrows. And then we can move on. Okay. Mummy. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the dice in the bottom right refers to if they are weak or strong versus certain types of attacks. So these guys have a blue three with the wind symbol, which means they resist wind attacks. Can I make it up here? I don't think so, right? I, don't, I can't gain enough height. Yeah, so we have to come back later once we have enough height. Oh, these guys resist wind by, or they're weak to wind by four because it's red now. Something like that. I'll, I'll remember what I'm supposed to remember about that eventually. Red is completely, Im red six is completely immune and one is minor. Oh, so the color is based off of the number, not based off of resistance or weakness. Next boss. Blue is weak and red is resist. Got it. Okay. Oops. I was the wrong one. What the fuck is happening here okay i think i might be slightly overpowered because normally these boss fights take a lot longer hell yeah wait did it oh the boss just took my thing that i got from the other boss strange Look at the shmovement. Oh. What is this? Huh? What am I do? I'm like back dashing and then sliding. And I'm like wave dashing. That's interesting. Was that doppelganger? Maybe. 
Oh, now we're on to stage two. Nice. Oh, God. So these flying enemies resist wind. Okay. What a banger. Oh, these guys resist fire. The other guys resist wind. How fortunate. Can I not make that jump? There we go. Wild guess there's six stages. Considering they just rolled a six-sided die, you are probably correct. There's a giant fucking centipede on the wall. Ah, it's coming right at me! Oops. My bad. This game's so cool. Am I doing damage? Where's the damage numbers? I'm so happy I have a, a excuse to play this game again now that there's a randomizer. Australia Simulator, a.k.a. Giant Centipede on the Wall. They got Medusi in this game? Chat, look! Oh, God! I'm having a shootout with Medusi. Hold up. Jesus Christ, she got a lot of HP. Yeah, I don't know a ton about the source material, personally. I've only ever played the game. That's the only bit of Record of Lotus War that I'm aware of ever I experiencing. And uh, I think it's great. The game. Anything else media related? I've seen some bits of like an anime, I think. Online, like screenshots of one. But I've never watched it. What is this? Arrowheads that are made of high grade steel are attracted by magnetic force. Dude. Dude. Oh my god, this fucking magnet. Magnets, how do they work? Thank you. It's a light novel. So what's the difference between a light novel and a heavy novel? So like a cutoff or how much has to weigh before it's considered a light novel versus a medium? No. Uh, what is she doing with her tail? I'm stoned! Ah! Die, monster. Do I just shoot from here? There we go. There we go. Heavy novel is War and Peace. 75 pages. Are these... Wait, are these enemies? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, they're using Power of Mist. That's not fair. How am I supposed to hit them? What's this? Is this like a level up? How do I get over there? I don't think I can get over there yet. I think it's like a level up to my fire abilities or something. That's what it looks like. Heavy novel is the novels uh, Charlotte's using in Portrait of Ruin. Very true. How else will she bonk enemies over the head with them? Dude, this purple goo looks crazy. Oh, another boss fight. Oh, this is... The, the really cool boss. Oh, fuck yeah. Hold on. This guy had new things to sell, though. This is the one with the thumbnail that got me, like, 10 billion views. So, therefore, he's my favorite boss. We can use him for clickbait again. I have $900! I can buy the Dragon Buster! The Nut Buster 4000! Wait, but it has less damage than the weapon I'm using right now. But it's designed for killing dragons. 
Death Spear? A spear with the power to instantly kill a, its target? Uh, dude, I don't remember any of these items. And all of these bows seem to be way worse than the one I'm using. So I guess I have a very good bow, like one of the best bows, maybe? Death Spear. God damn, bro. That's crazy. Imp Spear, I'm just going to sell. There's no reason to hold on to that shit. Well... We can't really afford anything good, so we're just gonna save our money. I really want that Death Spear. All right, boss time. Wait, is, this is not the boss I remember. This is a, this is not the boss I remember. But this is also a very cool boss fight. These guys use different elemental attacks and you have to be the other element to do damage to them. Damn it. Come on. Wait, what's going on here? Nice. Oh, fuck. It's so hard to remember which... This is bad. Your boy's in trouble. Oh, no. I'm stunned?! What is this, Street Fighter 2? You can get stunned in this game? Did I get him? There we go. Woo wee! Nice. The health regen is very, very nice. You have to be at max level to do it, though. So, it's like balanced, kind of. So, if you're taking a lot of damage, you can't get the um, health regen. Is this double jump? Double jump! Let's go. Just in time, too. Oh, it looks so cool! It looks so cool! Look at his double jump animation. You get to go twirly spinny. It's awesome. I can do this room now, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Spirit of Flame has been empowered. Increase attack power while using flame. Oh, hell yeah. I'm all fired up. Oh yeah, I remember if you slide off. What the fuck? If you slide off of ledges. These guys are insane. If you slide off of ledges, you do, um... Like, you fall faster, basically, is what I'm trying to say! Please move. Level 2. We should be able to explore this area, hopefully. Oh, God. Oh, I, d I chose the wrong one. There we go. 
I need to start looking at the, the center of the UI to remember which one I'm in, if I'm in wind mode or fire mode. Uh, I haven't opened a, that door yet, so backtracking is going to suck through that area, I guess. What game is this? This is Record of Lotus War. Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth. It's a very mouthful of a name. Toshiro. I should have changed the name category on Twitch, actually, so you could use that to look it up. That might make your life a little bit easier. There you go. Updated on Twitch. Howdy, y'all. Oops. So we can't go that way. This is the last uh, place to check, I guess. Ow. Will O Wisp. 200 damage. All right, no longer 200 damage. Don't mind me as I cheese the Medusi. Now, if only there was a dive kick after the double jump, that'd be awesome. Ow. I'd be dive kicking everywhere. Now, this game is definitely a, a, a recommend in my book. I think this game is great. The only downside to this game is it is pretty short. Like, you could probably beat the entire game in, like, three or four hours. You could probably 100% it in, like, six or eight hours. Oh, nice. Ah! I got fucking jump scared by a Medusa in the lava! Jesus Christ! There's another one. I see you. What's going on? What's going What's going on? I can't see. I'm fucking dead? What happened? I got medusied in the lava, I guess. Damn, bro. Well, rip deathless run. I, yeah, they're like hidden in the lava. I can't see them. This enemy randomizer is turning out to be kind of uh, a pain. Yeah, they're fully submerged. I can't see them. I'm turning to stone in the lava. Where am I? What's going on? Help! What is going on? Please, just take care of it for me. I should have just been using the, the summon spirits the whole time. Jesus Christ. I mean, I wouldn't be so crass, but sure, whatever, man. Moguro Bocho. Oops. Does more damage, apparently. And swings faster. Okay. Okay.
All right, we're gaming. What the fuck are you? Undyne, I love Undertale. Yeah, that dude do kind of be looking like Kratos right now. Okay. Green door. Come on, man. Don't tell me this is a dead end. Oh, it's not. Okay, we're good. Progress. Okay, so the spells are actually really good at, for dealing with these guys. Um, is this bow immune to... I think this bow... Doesn't this... Does this bow not... Oh, it does work. Okay. Just have to find the right spot to stand for this puzzle. Oh my god. Dude, this is... There we go. There we go. Now we've pressed the green switch. So now we can go to all the places where there were green doors, which there's one immediately to our right and down left. Okay. All right, let's go check those. Nice. I do like how tightly designed this game is overall. Like, there's just not a lot of fluff, you know? It doesn't feel like the game wants to waste your time. It's very... Uh, like, it's hard to get lost. There's very few, like, branching pathways that'll keep you lost. That's good. I think, I think overall it's a good thing. Uh, yeah, we go down and to the left. Uh, Mortis, Mortis Rose, thank you so much for the sup. Sus, unmapped square. Yeah, it's probably like a breakable wall or something. I don't remember though. I don't feel like going back for it right now. But it's probably like a breakable wall. I know the game has some. I'm pretty sure the game has some. Uh, boss fight? Am I poisoned or something? Why am I purple? I must be poisoned. Uh, let's do the boss fight first and then we'll explore the rest of the area. I think this might be the boss I was thinking of. Is this the lava boss? This is the lava boss. Oh, hell yeah. This boss is fucking sick. Oh my god, he's fucking purple! Okay, so he's immune to fire. So I gotta be winding it up. To do damage to him. Okay, I'm doing a, probably more damage than is intended.
I'm just gonna use my spells. I'm pretty sure that's poison. So I just need to run away. Can I do this hit list? I'm trying my best. Oh, no! My hit list run! I can't believe you! Oh shit, those arrows were doing big damage. No! Get back here! What the fuck is this attack? God damn. Damn. It could have been hitless. Good fight, though. Very good fight. That fight was crazy on my first playthrough. Dude, the randomizer, honestly, I'll say it. Controversial opinion. It's fun. I'm, I'm having fun. What the f... I don't remember this guy. Looks like he's weak to fire, which makes sense. He's a giant plant. What the goddamn dragon doing here? Resists fire, makes sense. Fun, not allowed, I'm sorry. Damn, the base going crazy. God damn. I like the enemy designs a lot, too. Very cool enemy designs. I'm obviously very overpowered because the randomizer gave me some good weapons early. But man. What is the name of the character? I have no clue, to be honest. I genuinely do not know. Another fire level up, really. All right, well, we're really feeling it. Also, is that a dude or a girl? I can't really tell. Does the, the outcome of that answer matter a lot to you? Like, do you just want confirmation on whether or not you're allowed to jerk off to this character? Is that what you're looking for? What am I doing? I gotta know if I could fap, come on. You don't wanna play fap Russian roulette? Zombie apparently. What the fuck Air Knight Parshath doing in this game? That's a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Shout out to the three people that get that reference in the comments below. If you got that reference, please leave a comment. Her name is Yo Yo. I don't know how to pronounce that, but waifu backwards. Good one, good one. Oh god. What the fuck is that? There's a bug on the wall. 
Oh, God damn it. We need an exterminator in here. Is that me? Am I the exterminator? I wasn't paying attention to the story. I think I am the exterminator. This is just normal day in Australia. Come on, guys. Poison? That's unfortunate. I assume poison is just like a stat debuff. Oh, baby, we're yellow door uh, now. Soul key. The soul of the thief opens a locked door. Nice. 239 damage. That's big damage. Oh, yeah. It's down here. Oh, another thing that's nice about this game is you can aim your sword slashes. So if you're holding straight up, you just slash straight up. It's really cool. This game is good. There's a randomizer out for it now, so now I have a great excuse uh, to play this game more. Ow. Dude, I'm getting freaking owned. And I need it to stop. spells because this guy will refill my magic dude jesus we're very low on hp that guy just fucking dropped oh uh, that's that the enemy randomizer do be unintentionally funny okay this is a room with a save in it. Thank you. So... We can open up yellow doors now, which means we can try... Uh... Backtracking a little bit. If we find the warp... Is there a warp in this area? If I find a warp, I can warp back to a, a, and try a different thing. I do love the announcer being... Oh, they're literally warp right here. Perfect. I was thinking we can go here. Oops. Because now that we can open the yellow doors, we can go this way. Oh, there was a dog there. What the dog doing? Yeah, right here. So this is new. Sleet anywhere good? Oh, back here. Damn. This is literally just right where we came from. I guess we can check this one out. This door? Because we didn't go this way. And we can't do that yet, I don't think. Base going crazy as always. All right, where else could we go feasibly? We can go back to the warp and then check the other area. That's probably what we should do, actually. Probably should have just kept exploring. 
in that direction before warping. Nice. Dude, the movement in this game is actually really nice. The fact that they give you a slide and a backdash and you can kind of chain them back to back. Feels good. these little doggo dudes they're cute ah nice we needed the open the yellow lock there i see all right we're making progress oh god and that's a boss fight over there it seems so surely there's a save room nearby probably right here right yep Let's see it, boss fight. Oh, it's actually you. Uh, so we gotta switch between both. That looks like fire or lightning. What is this? Uh, I'll just dodge it. Okay, just get behind and slash a bunch. We're actually gaming really hard. Yeah, nice. About your adventure, why not turn it into a song? Oh, fuck. Is it... Are we turning it into a song? Doppelganger? Resists fire, wind, and water. That's like all the elements that I have right now. That's very unfortunate. Also, this background is fucking trippy. How? I'm fucking dead? All right, let's kill this fucking boss. I was talking all that shit on phase one. Uh, I need to use more of my arrows, for sure. Big damage. Okay. Yeah, phase one, easy. Phase two. Okay. I'm just gonna shoot you in the head a bunch. No! Ow. Okay. We are in trouble. Ah! She's trying to fucking auto combo me from across the screen like we're playing Dragon Ball Fighters or some shit. God damn. Nice. Oh, Luna Knights looks different, but I can't quite tell what it is. True, actually. All right. I think we're like halfway through the game right now. We got another key. Nice, two soul keys.
There we go. Nice. Fun times, fun times. Uh, I think we're gonna pick this up next time I get a chance to, and we'll finish up the randomizer. We're about halfway done right now. Um, I do need to start packing for GDQ. Uh, I streamed a little bit longer than I initially wanted to, because I was just having a ton of fun with this game, to be honest, and I'm happy to play this again soon sometime. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, we'll finish this up next time.